Cronulla and say that Nanjuku didn't ground the ball. I think you're right. And Cronulla, the Sharks have come back out to the 20 for the restart. And that's exactly as the, the video referee, Ian Farnaby, saw it. So almost in the identical position, two disallowed tries for North Queensland in the space of just a couple of minutes leading up to the break. But hasn't this game changed in the last 10 minutes? From a side that were just absolutely not in the ball game, now they're the side that's on top and dominating. And it just really changed in the twinkling of an eye. Paul Mellor on halfway, held, called on to play. Richardson. Having a great battle with Andruku tonight. Michili's kick for Brian Jellick. Bringing it back, Jellick. He's also having a good game for the Cowboys. Good tackle made on him, though. It was dragged to ground by Andrew Pearce. Asimus. Goldthorpe. Running to the line, then picking up Valentine, right on halfway. Goldthorpe, the little general, switch for Kyle Warren. On the last tackle. Goldthorpe's kick across field towards Best. Battered back by Colin Best into the arms of Andrew Eddinghausen. the Sharks to bring it out from their own 30. Leading by 10 points to four, just a couple of minutes short of half time. Pierce again gets over halfway. Nick Graham runs a few places, gives it away to Stanley, then to Mellor, loses his step. Healy. Three, stay back now. The kick picked up by Brian Jellick. Chris Tassel. Connolly coming off the wing to go into the dummy half. Tackled on number three by Eddinghausen. Hetherington. Tackle from Paul Mellor just slipping up a little high. The referee rules play on as this pass goes astray and over the touchline. And it's something that the Cowboys didn't need with just under two minutes remaining in the first half. There looked to be a little bit of an option left-hand side. There's no way in the world that Adam Connolly was ever going to be able to get up towards the football. Needed to simply work for good field position and deny Cronulla the chance. Peachy coming into the line, but brilliantly read by Tassel. Knocks him over and makes him lose the ball. You got anything, Leon? Well, it was okay, a great I tackle again from Tassel, line. but I've got to say, as the referee awards a scrum, that I think that that should have been a penalty to the Sharks. As tackle attempted, uh, Tassel attempted to get back to his feet, I thought he dislodged the ball from his no, arm. No, no, there no. it is, the right arm and elbow pushing the ball out. Well, the referee did call, you would have heard him say, did you see anything, Leon, to Leon Edney, the touch judge, and he said no, he didn't. So that's the reason that North Queensland have now got possession. Well, I can tell you, John, the reason he didn't was because he wasn't looking. He's actually, it was unfortunate because he was moving his way down the 10-metre line and, and uh, didn't see the play. Goal for Away to Hetherington. In traffic. Brett Hetherington, a quick play the ball for John Doyle. The goal for on the blind side. Now to Nandruku. To Richardson comes at him. Again, puts him to ground. Goal Thorpe's kick. Allowed to bounce by the Sharks. Fellow goes back and takes it. And Paul Mellor driven to ground by Azimus. Five out from his own line. Well, the pressure valve released. Just under 20 seconds remaining. I don't think we'll see too much spectacular play. Sean Ryan just content to tuck that ball up. 
under the arm and go forward a few paces and that's exactly what Colin Best does right on half time Sean Ryan again goes forward and has driven the ground John Lang the Sharks coach probably saying he would have been feeling very content with himself Langy after about 20 minutes and all of a sudden things have turned around back in Townsville second half getting underway here at Derry Farmers Stadium with the Sharks leading North Queensland by 10 points to four I think they would have appreciated that break the Sharks just for John Lang to get them in get them back to regroup because they were under the hammer for the uh, the last 10 minutes certainly of the first half it was all North Queensland oh, and some bad news straight away from the kickoff Kyle Warren racing in to make the tackle from the ball carrier come reeling straight away from the tackle indicated to Sheens that he's no good has left the field immediately looks like a rib problem so Kyle Warren leaves immediately Sean Valentine replaces him as Cronulla start to bring it back towards halfway Paul Mellor getting to the halfway mark let's check what happened at halftime with Britt Kenny well John Tim Sheens was reasonably happy with their performance obviously not happy with the first 15 minutes of the game but but uh, he said they picked up their defense what he wants them to do is make sure they can control the ball and attack the short side of the Canola defensive line. He feels that they've got plenty of yards to be made on the short side. Just leave you for a moment, Brett. More bad news for the Cowboys with Kyle Warren on the sideline. Now John Doyle is also brought off the field by the trainer. He's in a bad state as well, so they've lost two players to injury in the opening minute of the second half. Back to you, Brett. Because on the other side of the, the Cheds was, was uh, the, the Sharks. With, and what they've been told is they've got to pick up their defence the one-on-one de defense was quite good early on in the game but they dropped off a little as we saw with Mitch Healy he wants them to concentrate on their defense again have good ball control but let's start to throw the ball around a little like they did early on Fred any word as yet uh, from the Sharks on Tim Madison and as far as Tim Madison goes it's a recurring knee injury as you mentioned in the call he has had it strapped and uh, they're just the doctors keeping an eye on him but he won't be back Thanks, Brett. So a bad start for North Queensland. Two players lost to injury in the opening minute of this second half, and now the Sharks with Richardson tackled by Prince. 35 metres out from the line. Nick Graham. Graham getting through. He got past Bowman the first time. Bowman came from behind to drag him to ground. Eismunger. Only 11 metres out. Healy now to stanley just unsure where he had to run got under peter jones almost got through blaine stanley still only 10 meters from the line now to sean ryan ryan hammered to ground three meters out last coming up now for the sharks here it is with mitch healy healy able to push his pass away to luke stewart he's tackled only five meters from the line well i'm not sure whether he knew that that was the last tackle Plenty of the Sharks players outside were desperate to get their hands on the football. They had a one or two man overlap. A little bit of an escape there for the Cowboys. Their biggest problem at the moment is being able to get fit players on the football field to get out of this area of the field. Only 11 from their own line and Buttergeek. Driven to ground by Pierce. Well, I think that in itself, the offloads really is a direct indication of where the North Queensland defence has got to strengthen a little bit as they make Good a golden break. Hetherington got it away to Goldthorpe, then to Tassel, backing up brilliantly again on the inside. Good tackle from behind by Sean Ryan. Goldthorpe on the last, has to kick. Fiji chases it back into the end goal. And is caught, is he in goal? Yes, he is. Goal line drop out. <laughs> complaining to the referee 